Hello everybody, I'm Nick from Pixie Woo. It's coming up to that time of year when Breaking Dawn Part 2 is launched from the Twilight series. So I am going to do a Kristen Stewart makeup tutorial for you today. I hope you enjoy. To start off with, I'm going to apply some foundation to my skin and I have got Clinique Pore Refining Solution Foundation. Just going to pop that on the back of my hand and then use a Real Techniques buffing brush to work that into the skin. I'm then going to take Collections 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer and work that under the eyes. And to work that in under the eyes I'm using a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. I'm then going to move on to the eyes. Now Kristen likes to make quite a focus of her eyes and she normally uses quite greeny tones, bluey tones or slightly reddy tones. I've chosen a slightly greeny diamondy colour um, eyeliner and this is Glimmer Sticks Diamonds from Avon and the colour is Twilight Sparkle. I am going to run that right the way over the eyelid. And this is going to work as a really nice base for me. And it's got little glitter particles in it so that they'll show through. I'm then going to use the warmth of my ring finger just to buff that into the eye. I sometimes find using your finger is a little bit nicer because the warmth of it allows the product to really nicely move. don't need to worry about doing this tidily because you're smudging it anyway. I'm also going to run that under the eye as well. And then use my ring finger to buff that in too. I'm then going to get a MAC eyeshadow and this one's called Club. And I'm going to use a MAC 217 to buff that over the eye. Just going to push it right the way over the eye. And this colour is going to allow the blue to show through but also give it a slightly green smoky finish. So the glitter particles will still come through. It's normally quite winged out on the side as well. Underneath the eye with that too. I'm then going to add some black eyeliner. I've got Max Smolder and that's going to go inside the eye and also along the top lash line. If you want to do both top and bottom, you can just close the eyes and you get both and it's much quicker and easier. You can take that right in the very corner of the eye on both top and bottom. I'm going to also run the black liner just along the top lash line as well and slightly pull it out so it makes it a little bit stronger and smokier on the lash line. And I'm going to take a MAC 239 to blend that.
I then need to add some mascara and I've got MAC False Lash Mascara. I'm going to pop plenty of that on. And try to get it quite close to the lash line. I'm going to pop that on the bottom as well. I'm then going to move on to the brows. I've got Avon Perfect Brow Pencil in dark brown. I'm going to just use one end to brush the brows through slightly first. And then use the colour end to colour them in. I like to feather the front of the brow so it's a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to give my brush a little comb through the brows. I'm then going to go back to the cheeks. I've got Sleek Makeup Contour Kit and this one's in light. I'm going to use a Real Techniques contour brush just to work that through the cheekbone in circular motions to bring out those cheekbones. If you find it easier, just suck your cheeks in slightly. And you should see a nice shape of where it goes. I'm also going to run this through my jawbone a little bit. And a little bit through my hairline. Now this palette also has a highlighter, so I'm going to use the same brush and just pop that on the top of my cheekbones. And I'm also just going to run that a tiny bit through my brow bone. And lastly on the lips I'm going to add an MUA lip gloss and this one is in shade 5. Hasn't got too much colour because I don't want to add much colour. And there you have the finished Kristen Stewart makeup tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed that guys. You have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.